Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll understand how to construct maths tables for school children. Let's say we want to construct a table which shows 1 1s are 1, 1 2s are 2, 1 3s are 3, so on and so forth up to 12. And for numbers from 1 through 12. So we'll have to make a grid first. So I start with column B. In B4, I put in the data header as factor. And then below, I put in the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way from 1 through 12. And this table, we want to construct for numbers 1 to 12. So I put number 1, number 2, number 3, so on and so forth up to 12. We know that if we want the tables, we have to use the multiplication function. And then suddenly we realize we have a problem over here. Number dot 1 is saved as a general category. And therefore, if we try to use the multiplication function, we will not get the desired result. So then I say, okay, fine. We just, instead of number dot 1, we just put the number 1. Instead of number 2, we just put 2. And we do this across for 1 through 12. So now we have a matrix where we have in column B factor 1 through 12 as numbers and in row 4 numbers 1 through 12. Now the multiplication function can work properly. So we come to C5 to construct the first table. C5 is 1 into 1. So the formula will be equal to B5 into C4. Now just observe carefully over here. Do you realize that when we want to construct this table, the factor is going to change. B5, B6, B7, B8, so on and so forth. But as far as the second part is concerned, it is going to be constant. The number is 1. It is always going to be C4. So what we do is, in cell C5, we select the portion where C4 is given and press F4. Basically what we are doing is, we are ensuring that there is a dollar sign before C and after C in C4. You can do this manually also. You just have to prefix and suffix the C with a dollar sign. So now what is going to happen is, when you use the drag and drop function across column C, the B values will go on changing, B5, B6, B7, but always it will be multiplied with the value in cell C4. So in column C, the table for 1 through 12 is done. Now we come to the cell D5 construction of table for number 2. So we say equal to B5 into D4. Again the same concept will come in. D4 has to be frozen. So we select that, hit F4 or manually prefix and suffix D with the dollar sign and then come to the bottom right hand side double click so that the drag and drop happens and we repeat the same process for E4, F4, G4, so on and so forth. Each time we put the formula as equal to B5 into E4, freeze E4 by prefixing the E with the dollar sign before and after, then do the drag and drop. We repeat this process all the way through till N4 and ensure that the grid is constructed. After that, whatever is being done is just a cosmetic change. The objective of this exercise is to understand how to use static and dynamic references. So I would encourage you to do some permutations and combinations to get yourself familiarized with the same. Like over here, we've done tables for numbers 1 to 12 to factors 1 to 12. Maybe you can try something similar with squares, with cubes, so on and so forth, so that you get acquainted with the same. Thank you.